Hi, this is Andy Scott with North Shore Apartments. We're about to walk into 842 Hinman number three. It is a really big, really nice studio. It's a condominium rather than an apartment. Uh, and as we walk through the front door, to our left we have the bath, and to the right we have a super huge closet. I'll come back to both of those and go ahead and walk into the apartment. So we see to the left, we see sort of an extension of the living room like a sunroom with uh, bay windows. And if I scan the living room, we see that where the bed is is actually a dining area. And the windows that we're looking at now are facing west. And I'll scan back. And you can see this really a big studio, very open floor plan. And these windows face east. Now we're on a Hinman, which is close to both the Metra and the Purple Line, but it's also very close to the lake and coffee shops and groceries. So it's a terrific location. We're above the low trees in the courtyard. You can see the flowering trees. It's a beautiful time of year. If we look out straight across, we see, I wouldn't quite call it a skyline, but you get the idea. And uh, I'm going to go into this corner here and sort of give you another look at how big the apartment is. So this is a studio again. So this is just huge. Um, you can see where I'm standing here is room for a table, a four person table, a workstation dressers against one of the closet doors. His bed's in the dining area, he has a couch, bookshelves, really quite a bit of space. The hardwood floors are beautiful. Again, east-west exposure, so you're going to have a lot of uh, light, a lot of air. And if I go this way, you can sort of see into that closet. And again, the windows. The rent is 1125 and the rent includes heat and water and it's a condominium. So the presentation of the apartment is really terrific. I'm walking towards the uh, dining area now and behind that one um, blind, you can see there's an AC unit that stays here, stays with the apartment. There's also a ceiling fan. Um, he has very thick drapes, so I've opened them up. He does not, he must not like the uh, morning light. There are updated outlets throughout the apartment. So, I mean, it's a very modern apartment. And if we look at it from the beginnings of the dining room, we really start to see the space. Now that excludes his bedroom area. And there we see into the uh, um, bath. So one last look at this, what this is really a dining area that he's looking at so as a, a bedroom area. And I'll go right back to the windows. Now here you're looking out the back of the building, very light, sort of the back, the alley and the rooftops. But if I scan forward, I mean, it's just a really big, really nice apartment again. Very nice ceiling fan and a little decoration around it. The trim is beautifully done. It's not a stark white, it's a gray blue, a light gray blue, which is very pretty. If we walk into the kitchen, ceramic tiles, cabinets immediately to our right, the back door in front of us, a nice newer fridge in front of us, double stainless steel sink, full size stove. As we swing across, we see a whole bunch of cabinets up and down and a microwave that's built in. So I'm going to uh, just open some of the cabinets for you so you can see that they're all super clean, super usable. Let's see if we can do that. I don't want to spend too much time in this guy's uh, unit and it's hard to open and close cabinets without giving you shots of the floor, etc. If I open the fridge, we see this guy likes to cook. Freezer up top. 
fridge below. Like I say, it's not brand new, but it's relatively new. You've got nice crisper drawers, good shelves. This guy knows how to use it. Double stainless steel sink, more storage above. Same thing, nice and new and squeaky clean. Under the sink, we're going to check out because sometimes there's a little damage under there. But in this case, I know there's not. Again, very usable, very dry, very clean. Full-size stove that needs to be cleaned, but that's sort of to be expected. We'll open it up, and you can see big enough for just about anything you want to do. You could entertain easily. The microwave, newer very easy to use this window looks also to the west and you see the sort of the, the tops of the buildings next door tremendous light really I'm just going to open one or two of these because they all look pretty much the same and then we have a nice counter it's not a rock counter it's a laminate counter but more counter space on the other side from the sink. So you have good cabinet space. If I just hold up the camera like this, you can see you have terrific space and terrific light. So it's a bigger than average kitchen. Again, in a uh, much, much bigger than average studio. And I'll go this way again and give you a shot as we walk in towards the big closet and the bathroom. And I think I'll go into the bathroom first since we're looking at it. Again, not a small bathroom. Ceramic tiles, a tank toilet, a nice sink with a little base, medicine cabinet. Shower is probably about 6'3". You have shower curtains on both sides to keep it nice and clean. Uh, standard shower fixture. The tub needs to be clean, but is otherwise in great shape. And again, a look at the shower. The sink is very clean. Underneath is totally dry and usable. So there again, everything is ticks like a clock in this, in this unit. But it's a condominium. So it's not just a regular apartment. You have a little um, shelf before the medicine cabinet and some shelves going up the medicine cabinet. And you could even put something on top. There's the outlet. Again, the toilet. Nothing real special there, but there you have it. I'm going to check the water pressure before I... So I'm just putting on the hot. So it's just the hot water. And you can see we get good water pressure. That shower head actually will give you a couple of different kinds of spray. But that's just the hot water and it's uh, very good. So good water pressure, nice clean bath. And that leaves us to go over to, got some hooks on the door, uh, by the door into the big closet. Now he's got a big base right in front of us so I can't just walk in quite as easily as I'd like to. But if I pan this way it's about five feet to the right and it's probably five feet or more deep and then it's a couple of feet to the left. And you have shelves that go up and all the way down so you have shelving there shelving in front of the door, hanging bar there, more shelves over there, and shelving and space to my right, which I can't really get into. So I'm not doing too well with the closet, but you can see it's a big room. It's probably 10 by 5 at least. So one last look at the uh, living room from the entry, which is just really very dynamic. Uh, and of course, we'll get this cleaned up. Again, the rent is 1125 and rent includes heat and water.